Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermar P. Knighter here with week one of the IBL season four. Week one. Repetitive at its finest, bro. Um, we're here versus Soiver Nation of the Las Vegas Gladiators. If you haven't seen the team builder, I recommend you check it out so you can know what I'm bringing and why I'm bringing it. And uh, actually, I've just been, I've been thinking about it, right? Because I have the power to pause and such. I, I'm, I will be pausing, explaining plays, and giving you my thought process of what has been going on. Anyways, uh, shout outs first to my boy, the Rude the Deep Storm. Check him out. Links in the description below, as well as all the coaches and my opponent and the IBL YouTube channel if they have, also Twitter and my Twitter and their Twitters. We're going to be leaving links in the description below. We're going to link the description with my Facebook, my Instagram. No, we're not. <laughs> Anyways, um, look at the team preview. I am so glad I didn't see the Hitmonchan nor the Gavalion. So the other way of priority is his Absol and his Infernape. So I got to be aware of that. Um, He could... Judging by his team, he could bring Z move Garchomp with SD. Perfect, because I got my Sivali right there. So I'm so happy about that. Now you're gonna see I'm gonna be leading up with Sylvali. Uh, first of all, let me know if y'all like want to hear the battle video music or just like a random background music from Glitch X City. Let me know in the description. Anyways, we're gonna begin. So we're gonna be starting off with Sivali. So if he leads up with Garantula, I can I'm gonna be magic coding turn one no matter what to put hazards on his side since I'm not bringing hazards. You know because I I'm, I said that before. And the team builder, he leads up with Mesprit. I lead off with Sultan Full the Sivali, the best mon ever. And we're gonna click magic code as I said turn one. Look at that. He's not going to expect it because there's going to be rocks going up on his side first. As if I'm stunning up the rocks. Um, I'm going to be going for the parting shot. Sorry for a pause. I'm going to be going for the parting shot. Going right into my Caracosta. And hoping I can shell the shell smash on his face. Or making him predict that I have rocks on that. I got a Caracosta crush. So, so we can damage his team a bit. So we can do some work, damage his team a bit, and scout to see if he brings Scarf or not. He goes for Toxic, he outspeeds me. So he probably has enough speed to outspeed my Caracosta at probably max speed. Which is a good play on his part, because I go for Soul Smash here. Try to do at least some damage. I could have gone for the second one. I did live another one. But this next turn, I'm going to be deciding... Hold on. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna be going for the Stone Edge, doing a lot of damage. If I miss, this gonna suck, but I didn't miss so badly. He does Psychic, it does a lot of damage. So, I'm not too mad about that. I'm also not too pleased. I mean, I'm gonna be getting rid of his Rocker, or I'm gonna be getting rid of something with Liquidation, which gonna be doing a lot of damage. So I just go for Liquidation, <coughs> knocking off his Rocker, so, if I remove rocks, you just be sticking off the field. And my current cost is going to be at 10%. Now he goes to his guard chomp. Now, I'm going to pause right here because this is very important to for scouting purposes. I have my current cost to outspeed Mega Absol at plus two. So, if this guard chomp outspeeds me, it is 100% scarf. There's no way guard chomp outspeeds me. So, and this gives me an idea of why he's bringing it. So, he's going to bring it for uh, Mega Pidgey and all that jazz. Now, as I said, we're going to scout to see if he's Scarf. And he is indeed Choice Scarf. So, it's not a misplay. It's more of a scouting. Because if I went for Rocket Jet, I wouldn't know. I, I wanted to damage this, but it's, it's whatever. I go to Gligar because he 100% walls this Garchomp. 
uh, unless he's like ice, ice guard. But he's obviously stuck because he swaps out. He could have gone for any other move to at least damage me or sword stance. I went for knock off here. Just knock off that scarf or whatever this item Primarina has. And then Primarina proves to have Wakamberry. Sorry for my Kirim. Which, um, it's not a bad prep in my, in my opinion. I just go into Skull Cold. Just to, you know, ch eat a hit from this Primarina since I have special bulk as well. Now he gets, he gets the freeze. He hits me with the ice cream. Freeze. But it doesn't matter because I fall and I defog these rocks away. So my Moltres is safe and my birds are safe. <laughs> Sorry. My birds are safe. He goes for the moon blast and is going to be doing quite a bit of damage. Now, I go for the parting shot so I can weaken this a bit. So I can have a free switch into my Sceptile because my Sceptile will eat it. One. Now, Specs or Life Orb. And he could be bulky since that didn't do so much as I expected. I go to 15% and he goes for the Ice Beam. He, go, he goes for the Ice Beam. And I live. Now, I make a misplay. Very bad misplay, in my opinion. What I should have done is click Giga, Giga Drain. Because I have that. I have that in my fourth move slot. So I can, I'm able to heal back all the health and save this for later so I can revenge the Infinite and the and the Absol. If the, and also outspeed the Scarf Guard Chomp since I EV'd this to outspeed Scarf Guard Chomp. After an unburdened poop. But I make the silly mistake. I really want to kill this. So I can do as much damage as I can to his team. And also use the HP Ice on guard drop. <coughs> Sorry. And I went for the solar beam. As he switches into Galvantula. This solar beam is not going to be doing much damage as I want it to be. I want it to be at least half damage. So I can acrobatics kill him. But... Of course, I make the silliest mistake sometimes. I went for the full beam way too early in my opinion. I could have saved this for the Primarina. Um, and I actually waited until this got back to the day. So I went for Acrobatic. I kind of knocked this out because it was a roll. But I didn't get the roll, sadly. He goes for the HP ice, I'm assuming, since he, needed, he needs that for the Gligar. But it, which is not going to be doing anything to the Gligar. So I go for a Hurricane... Hold on, let me pause. Let me say this right now. He has no switch-ins to Hurricane. His, if you saw the team builder, I expressed the fact he has no switch-ins to a Hurricane. Let me say that again. No switch-ins. So I am basically free to come in here and just click Hurricane. Because he has no switch-ins. Anything's going to die. So I Mega Evolve to this perfect specimen of a Pokemon named Mega Pidgeot. People want to make a pitch at this season. And I got it. And he's going to click Hurricane. Get Nabbit's first kill. Oh my god. Make a pitch out. Oh, we're really knocking out a threat. But it's at a cost of my Sceptile, which didn't do anything that I wanted. Now, if he was bulky, he lives any here. But I didn't put that in the calc. What I put in the calc was max HP, max. Um. Max special attack. Well, I forgot he was bulky. I should have known that because of the amount of damage he did to my Steel Valley. But that was a mistake on my end. So, but it, it's not going to matter because it's a 2 KO regardless. And, he, and if he's bulky, I live any hit. That's also, I if I knocked off his item, it's going to do like basically, basically more than half, I believe. We're going to see how much it does. Because Hurricane is going to be doing a lot of damage to this. It's an automatic 2 EKO. Uh, I'm timid to um, make a pitch up, but I live. 11 34. That's crucial because getting rid of the rocks means I have one more switch. So I'm glad I clicked Defog. Now he. His Permarina dies. And that's the second kill of Mega Pitch He goes into. Um, Garchomp, um, he has no reason to click any other move, like Rock Slide or anything. So I just go um, Stone Cold just to sack it off. He goes for the Aqua Tail, which is even better. 
Because if when I if I sag, hold on, let me pause. Let me, oh, that was a glitch. Um, depending on the move Garchomp locks himself into, I have a switch it for that. If he goes Aqua Tail, my Moltres lives a hit and can knock him out with the D move. And if he or if he clicks Rock Slide, I have a free switch it to Gligar to be able to knock him off. Or if he switches into Mega Absol, I could just Earthquake, do some damage or knock it off. I haven't calculated that at that point. So it was depending whether or not what move he locked himself into. All right, you saw he's kicking Aqua Tail. And that was a move I was kind of expecting because how, how else is gonna, he going to hit um, Gligar? So we're going to keep playing. He goes for that. And he knocks me out, which is what I wanted. Savali did what it, what it did, what his job was. So I got him this, and I'm going to say thank you, Lord, that I EV'd this correctly. I EV'd to outspeed Hitmonchan, I think. Uh, refer back to the team builder. I kind of don't remember. I, I EV'd this. And I, I put, I know I put 14 in the HP, so I have um, all, all the HP numbers, so I can switch it to rocks and turn in twice. And it's going to take any hint that's not rock slide from Garchomp. So I come in here, he goes for Yaku Chill, trying to knock me out. But these, the investment came in handy because I live... I almost read. I go for the Z move and it's gonna knock him out. The Z move is 100% KOing anything because he has no flying resist. And it's gonna, it's gonna be pun. This is gonna punish him not having any um, fly, flying resist. So this kills 100% if he doesn't have any bulk and it kills his other mods. The crit did not matter. Be emphasized. The crit did not matter. I'm a modest Moltres. I calc'd it. Uh, it it's a, it kills 100% if he's scar if he's um has no bulk in special defense. It kills regardless. So the crit didn't really matter. Like, oh, I think it should salt the salt that rubs the room. Something like that. He goes into the Absol. I am willing to sack this because. I can get the burn. I have a burn chance, and I have and um. I mean, I could groove, and you could suck the punch, but I'm fine with not psyching this off. So, um, Moltres did its job. It was supposed to one v one guard chomp, so it, it it did what it does did, and I'm proud of it. I go to make a pidgeot, and this is where I have to play 50 50. If he sucker punches. I'm like, I have to put a 50 50 chance because he could sucker punch me in. And that would mean I would lose the battle because this asshole has Ice Beam. Now, if he, it's a 50 50 where he clicks sucker punch or not. So this turn, I click Roost, predicting him to go sucker punch, and the play worked out perfectly. I go for the Roost, I heal all my, I heal my damage. To where Sucker Punch will no longer KO me from full from that range. And I'm able to click Hurricane, knock this out. And yeah, you see, it didn't it didn't do a lot. It did more than my roost damage, but hey, I'm alive and I KO this. Now I win regardless. Uh he's gonna go to infinite, but I'm gonna explain. Uh, excuse me. I'm fearing this infinite to have um some priority move or he could be choice guard. Um he could also nasty plot if I click roost. I don't wanna click roost. Like I'm I'm trying to kinda of win out here. But hey, 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 hey. If he doesn't click it and or if he he could also be focused, Ash. He could be Sash, live, live a hit, and he doesn't knock out my Gligar regardless. So I can, I guarantee win at this, at this rate. So all I do right now is click Hurricane, 
he does not click the move, priority move, and he gets knocked out. And that's it. Your boy, he Miami in for names. One, two, oh, make a pitch off, claiming four kills. We're gonna see it right here, see if I win or not. There you go. The root did it for me. We win 2 0. And I'm so happy because Mega Pitch, I got four kills. And at the beginning, of when I was, when I drafted this thing, I was thinking maybe like it's going to do some work, but like it's not going to, it's going to be underwhelming. It's a tier three. So it's tier three. It's pretty underwhelming. But this match proved that I underestimated. Uh, and I am so happy I have this on my team. It's gonna put in so much work for my team. I didn't even expect it. Like I I was so close to getting make a hair across. But I got this. Oh my god, I'm so happy, bro. Oh man, make a pitch eye. And hey, it was uh my opinion was hacks for this because the hacks that happened, like the freeze and the uh, what was it? The freeze and the crit did not matter. It was all um, based on my skills and my prediction ability, and I was able to do it correctly. Even though with the septile, I choked it. But hey, Mega Pidgeot proved to be a huge threat. And do not mess with Mega Pidgeot. Mega Pidgeot got four kills, baby. Four. So keep that in mind. I hope you guys do enjoy this battle. Uh, shout out again to my boy Darude for doing this for me. Uh, all the links will be in the description. I'm going to repeat it. All the links will be in the description. Um, and yeah, hopefully we win week two. 